Hey guys, what's up? In this video I will show how to make the skin material in 3ds Max, and understand its different main parameters. So if you are new to this channel then make sure to subscribe and press that notification bell, also hit that like button. Ok so here we go. I'm opening a character scene. In which I will apply skin material. I have made this character for my other project. It's rigged and ready to be animated. Ok so the renderer that you need for skin material is the mantle ray renderer. Select that renderer, this renderer is built into 3ds Max by default if I am not wrong. Insert a light in the scene to observe the skin effects. Place it behind the object. Make sure to turn on the shadows, and select that shadow type. I am hiding those bone objects in render. Now press M to bring the material editor. Ok so don't be confused, it's just multi material. I will only replace the skin material. This one is the shirt material. And this one is the slot for skin material. So now replace this with the new skin material. And select that one. Ok now there are many options in here, but very simple. These are all the options. And this one is important one. The skin material is different from other materials. In this we have three effects. One is the effect of light falling from behind, other falling on top and other falling on top but affecting the layer below first. In this render that here is looking red. Which is the effect of light falling on its back. Ok now observing from the other view. Here we observe the effect of light falling on top. You can see that light scatters and distributes on the skin. When it falls on top. Now back to material editor options. With this color you can control the overall skin tone. You can make it black or white. This is the color of the top layer. When the lights fall on top, this color is emitted and scattered inside skin. The options below that color are used for intensity and scatter radius respectively. This is the color of the layer below first layer. It also has scatter and intensity options. And this color is emitted when the light hits skin from behind. This is actually the blood color. The blood becomes visible when light hits skin from back. Its options are same as the others, but it also has the depth option. Means how far can a light go deep in the skin to emit the blood color. These three are the intensities of every three colors. I will make the other two zero. To see the result of top player. Changing the color to blue. Rendering. So that's the top player color. The scatter radius is small so the spread is not much visible. Now zero the top player color. And reset the second layer color. Rendering. And its scatter radius is larger than first one. So its spread is visible. Ok now the both first and second layers are zero, but the back layer set to 0 0.5 intensity. Position the camera and render it. And that tier is emitting the inner blood color. And it is same as the color we set in material editor. And now I am rendering with all effects turned on. 
and skin color is blue. Hmm. So observe the colors. So that's how it works. You should know about other properties of the mental ray renderer. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Spectrum and press that bell icon. Don't forget to like this video.